Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> ah, I just needed to clear my throat there. Dee be dee. Ah. Got many things going on today. Many things. And what I mean by that is is that I I've got a new a new button that I I I have to press and things. And it's very confusing. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. Uh, da dee. Da da dee. Um. Right. I think we're ready to go. Now, when I say I think we're ready to go, <laughs> that's a lie. It's a lie. But, you know. Hmm. What time we got? Three, two. You found the Dirty Boxers Show. Something else on the internet that'll freak out your mom. Teachers have souls. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. It be Wednesday. Wednesday of the loveliness of Wednesday variety. I've got so much going on over here, I don't even know where to start, really. I've got new buttons for that YouTube malarkey. We've got buttons and things, and we can do uh, uh, stuff, allegedly. Stuff, I think, is what... Uh, stuff. The Dirty Boxy Show is entirely listener-supported by sexy, awesome people like you. No sponsors, no dirty ads. To find out how you can support The Dirty Boxy Show, please visit dirtyboxers.net and click that Support Us button. Thank you. Are you ready? Are you excited? hey -oh. Ow, hi, hi. Hey guys and girls and welcome. It be the Dirty Boxers Show. <laughs> Your alleged daily toast, tongue cheek, geeky chic. And of course, the proud home of Rebels and Misfits. Oh yeah. We're cooking on wet farts at the moment. You know, as you do. Because that's fun and stuff. Have I even introduced myself? I don't even know. My extraordinarily stubbly face today is irreverently brown Esquire CPE. In this situation, everybody's interacting together. That's the exciting part. That's what they say. That right there, that, that is what they say. But blatantly alive. One, two, three, four. I'm very excited. I've got I've got graphics and things that I don't know how to control in any way, which way. I'm getting very distracted by it all. Don't they look pretty? They've got blue bits and, and, and darker blue bits. It's very excited. I, I know, it's amazing. And also, we've got a banner as well, which updates itself automatically every every so often. Here we go. Anyway, I'm trying to work out why Russia is such a bad place. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm sitting here. And I'm thinking to myself, it's cold. It, it's very, very cold. 
but I what but but why is it such a bad place? I gotta get funky. It, it makes no sense to me. Why? Why? I I don't get it. It. Pff, you know, I'll, I'll tell you why. Right, let me let me have a look at this. Right, uh, you know, BBC News breaking. The BBC News malarkey sort of thing. Let's uh, let's have a look at this malarkey. Uh, basically, it says Russian warships. You remember them? You remember them? There was a news story. What a couple of what? When was it? L- looking at my imaginary watch, like last week, going, "Oh no, the Russian warships. They're in. They're in like the English Channel. Oh, be careful! Look at them punt by like tugs." I don't think they said that last bit, but you get what I'm saying. The thing is, they've just reached Spain. Now, and this was updated four minutes ago. This is breaking news, I think you'll find. Breaking. How many days to get to Spain? How crap are these warships? Are they really just tugs? Uh, What are they? What what are they doing? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. I am very confused. And this is the this is the bit that I'll quote from 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 this BBC website thing because it is breaking news. It is like uh, crazy sh- shenanigans. Russia has withdrawn a request for three warships to dock at a Spanish port, even though they were given permission. They've withdrawn that they want to go there, and so Spain is going. Yeah, all right, then. I think that's how the Spanish sound. All right, then. I'm presuming a little bit there. But I, uh, this is the bit that I, it confused me entirely. This is, before we get into, like, proper news, you know, proper stuff. Uh, this is the bit, the paragraph here. Spain. Now, now Spain. You know, them lot. Far off, dusty place. Oh, pff, whatever. Spain has come under amount of pressure. Vast quantities of pressure from NATO. Why are they got? Why are they? Why? What was that? Surely Russia is an ally. Why on earth would they be going under pressure? I, I doesn't doesn't make sense to me. It, it, uh, because it it does it should not be allowed to for for Russia to be allowed to kind of like use their petrol tanks or whatever they do there. Yeah, could you imagine? If it, you know, to actually fill up one of these uh, putt putt boat things, it's like you pulling into a gas station petrol pump sort of thing. And there is like the captain gets off and uh, he has to prepay, obviously, uh, you know, swipes his debit credit card thing, malarkey, and then uh, chugs in like a normal petrol pump, just chugs in, you know, vast quantities of gallons and stuff. Very confusing. It is entirely confusing. I don't like it. I, I'm very confused by this whole malarkey whatsoever. Anyway, the point is, I just thought I'd mention it because it is breaking news and it makes me feel like I'm on, on top of things. Straddling. As one does, you know. <clears throat> anyway, we'll start the show in a minute. But basically, I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. Now, hello, Kelly, in the chat room. We're currently straddling chat rooms as well. We don't know which one to use. I think we'll focus on the Yaucho chat room just because, you know, because it's hip and happening and down with the kids. Over there at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll get it like, all sorted, but I'm still fondling with the Yaucho. And it's looking quite, doesn't that look sexy? Let's, just, let's marvel at our brilliance for a second. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, my God, does it? Uh, just, just marvel it. That look good. Don't we actually sound half decent today as well? Better than it was previously, anyway. Aren't we great? Have, have we marvelled enough? Can we, can we move on? Okay, a little bit more. Oh, don't that look great? Up, updates at the bottom there and, it, and stuff. And there's that thing. <laughs> anyway, Allo Kelly uh, in the chat room over there is suggesting that Russia are bullies. They have always been bullies. Now, admittedly, admittedly, she is, you know, one of the Americano ones. Uh, can I remind people that America were the aggressors uh, involving the Ukraine 
rubbish that's still going on like four years later that's still going on right now that we just don't hear about in the mainstream media <sighs> well at what point do we stop calling the mainstream that's the one thing i'm thinking about at the moment the one well there's many things i'm thinking about some of them are perverted but anyway the point is is at what point do we not call the mainstream anymore because in america all the statistics, you know, those lovely things with pie gra b b graphs, those scatter cushion graphs and all that kind of stuff. Over there, it suggests that only kind of 6% of people even trust what the mainstream media are saying. So at this point, if it's like, 90, what is it, 94 Carry the one. Yeah, 94% of people do not agree with whatever the mainstream media is saying. Then are they really considered mainstream anymore? Is what I'm thinking, generally speaking. Do, do, mm -mm. Do, do you see what I'm saying? I'm just, you know. Kelly, stop eating the pie graphs, please. Pie charts, stop it. Sorry, we can't. We just can't get the listeners these days. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Should I? Anyway, the point. We'll start the show in a minute. The point is this: if we know that Russia is an ally trying to, you know, defeat ISIS, ISIS is the bigger one, right? The bigger one that we're trying to get sort allegedly try and get, even though America is funding them. We all know it. Stop lying to yourselves, America. And so we're we're trying to defeat them then why are them people getting aggressive over Russia who have agreed to not, like defeat ISIS with us? And every time Russia actually does its job and, and defeats ISIS in some areas and say, then America gets their knickers in a twist. Now, I have to say they are very floral and very pretty knickers, America. You should be proud of them. They're very frilly and ever so slightly sexy. However... You get them in the twist a bit. And then all of a sudden, you uh, break the ceasefire. Every time, what is it, twice now you've done it. It's like, oh no, Russia's actually doing what they said they're going to do. All right, we're going to bomb a funeral and kill 160 people. Oopsie, it was by mistake. No, it wasn't. We all know it wasn't. Why even, why even waste the paper the press release was released on? America, with, I know they're frilly knickers. They are frilly knickers. Why, why do it? Why? It don't make no sense. It don't mean, especially when we, we know what's going on. We know we can seize it. We don't have to have you lying to us, CNN. We can see what actually is going on. And yet you're still trying to convince us that it's something entirely different. It makes no sense. I'll tell you something else that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Chunky Tom Daly sending us me a video. I, I, we retweeted it via the digital, uh, what was it? Not Digital Rhapsody, which, which Twitter account was it? Dirty Boxers, thank goodness it was the, the non-corporate one. Uh, oh, you know, we'd ruin our sponsorship deals. You know, all of them, the vast quantity of sponsorship, yeah, them. Anyway, the point, he sent in, practically naked, practically, even though he wouldn't get his nips out, which I'm very disappointed in, very disappointed. I know he's from up north and most people can't understand a word he says. So it's cold. Not because of the way he works, talks sort of thing. It's because it's cold. He didn't get his nips out. But the point is he should have at least flashed them. Especially when I, you know, inquired their state of well-being. You would have thought he wouldn't. All right, there you go. Well, he wouldn't have said that. He's like, uh, to pit, down to pub. You know, the, you know how northern people speak. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, the point is, Hello Kelly was put off her dinner because of this vast quantity of um, nudity. And she is uh, saying in the chat room that she still feels like a dirty pedo. But have you heard? And this really is grinding my dick gears. I'm, I, I'm torn at the moment. And we're, going, we're heading towards pedophilia, ladies and gentlemen. Be warned. So... I'm torn about this. I learned recently, I learned, like, mainstream media, that, you know how the trannies are kind of what they're, like, the, the new, 
picket lines for the, the, the social warrior, you know, justice warrior sort of people. You know, them lot. They're with their placards and go, oh, let trannies be themselves, sort of thing. More and more, I'm hearing people trying to co convince us, and us as in, like, general public, to hug a pedo like pedophile. I'm just like, what the hell is... At some point, I will actually explain this a lot more better. At, but, I mean, it, just Google it. It's the fact that... They're, going, they, they're starting to, like, make comments about how paedophilia is, is not child abuse. It, you know, it, it's a, a, an issue, a concern, some people. There's a bloke who's saying this sort of stuff. Hold on, let me, let me. Like I said, I was going to talk about this at some other time, but this is, this is, she's just brought it up, and so I'm now discussing it. Uh, what, what, what is it? Uh, Salon was the first place, that, of all places, I know. I know, right? Uh, let me just, 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 let me just. Uh, I, I want to say his name was Todd. Uh, pedophile. Yeah, this is a quote. <laughs> this is the headline from Salon. Where uh, it was talking about how uh, <sighs> great choice of advert, by the way, is like give abused and neglect neglected children a voice on the I'm a paedophile but not a monster. Great, great choice of advertisement there, salon.com. And it goes on, and it, this is one of three articles that this bloke produced. And uh, yeah, this is. When was his? Uh, last year, September the 21st, 2015, this was released into the pixelated world of nonsense. That is, of course, Salon.com. Uh, so he is saying, this bloke uh, is saying, I'm attracted to children, but unwilling to act on it. Uh, before judging me harshly, would you uh, be willing to listen? Is the subtitle. And uh, basically... They, sorry to say this, but well, actually, I'm not. No, I'm not willing to listen to it at all. But what is it with people now having to? Why can't? Why can't they just stay with the gays? It was safe with the gays. Well, what's the problem with the gays? You were right with the gays. You got gays the the marriage and all that kind of malarkey, and then you've moved on into kind of other social warrior nonsense which is now making no sense whatsoever. So the tranny is the next up, and I'm, I'm telling you that the paedophilia rubbish is after the trannies. That's where it's going. And I dread to think how I've even got to this point. I feel, I feel like I'm speaking like Fox News all of a sudden. No, if, you get, if you let gays have marriage, then you're letting paedophiles and bestiality let it go. <clears throat> I hate to say it, they, all, they were right. That Rush Limbaugh fella is, is suddenly making sense. It's crazy, but it's true. I just want one of his chairs for free. I'm sucking up to get one of those really kind of over-the-top nonsense chairs. That's what it is. Oh, between you and me, dear listener, that's what I'm going for. But it's just one of those scenarios. I can't make it out. Why? And Google it. That this is a thing. This is I know paedophilia is a thing, blah, blah, blah. but the the fact that they're trying to um, split it from um, child abuse. So paedophilia is uh, almost like a sexual orientation. That's what they're trying to spin it as. And child abusers are something entirely different. But it, it don't make any sense. But they're, they're the same thing. They're, the, they're technically the same thing. Even though one is like, that, you're going back to the same old malarkey of one is thinking about it and one's actually doing it. But still, why, why belittle what we already need? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just getting confused. See what, you, see what you've done, Hello Kelly. This is what you did, bringing up, feeling like a dirty pedo, looking at chunky Tom Daly naked well, practically naked, in his bed, listening to us yesterday, which was disturbing, I have to, I have to admit. He can send more, as long as he gets his nips out. I'm an equal opportunist. Same, same with Hello Kelly. If she ever sent us a video 
on on Twitter sphere sort of malagi. I'd expect her to have her nips out. Equal opportunist. You're welcome. So where were we? Yes. Um. We'll start the show in a minute. at some point. So uh, I was so much. There are so many pieces of news that I would like to uh, talk about. T- Tasha Bella, head of research, has done a great job. Um. But there's so many that I don't even know where to start. Let's uh, let's start with here. Let's let's go on to the Huff Post malarkey because, quite frankly, this is shocking that they're they're even going. Oh, by the, by the way, oh, oh by, by the way, uh, issues are afoot. You've got you've got to bless bless them, bless their little cotton socks. The little huffy post over there trying to get some uh, news, trying to trying to get some views on their lovely little Samsung kind of malarkey. You know what? Samsung has had it coming to them for quite some time, to be honest with you, after all this malarkey. So we're, we're on again about the uh, Samsung Note 7, which if I owned a Samsung device, which I don't because... I'm better than you, uh, I think is what the way it normally works. Yes, that, I think that's how it is. I'm better at, so no. Um, if I owned a Samsung device like Neagle, you know him, you know, the Oompa Loompa, my friend. I'm going for a pint with him tonight, actually. I hopefully will have stories about him and Ariane tonight, from tonight. And we'll bring them to you almost live on on Friday, because well, tonight I'll be drinking beer. So. Anyway, if I owned a Samsung device, because let's be honest, they've probably purchased all these lovely batteries from one place, just different sizes for the different models. If I owned a Samsung device, I would be extraordinarily worried about this whole slightly explosive device in my pocket. Now, some people like Laz gets off on that sort of thing, which is fair enough. You know, anything exploding near him is more than happy, the dirty sod. However, it just seems a bit weird. It seems a little bit weird that no one else is worrying about this malarkey. So, uh, Samsung slashes profit forecast after pulling the plug. No, no, is that pulled plug? <laughs> Half post doing it grand. Grand job. Uh, Pulling plug on Note 7 smartphone. Uh, The company has taken $2.3 billion hit. $2.3 billion. That's that's almost £2.50. That's crazy shenanigans there. Uh, Over the uh, smartphone debacle. I'm enjoying Huffington Post calling this a debacle. I, I would go much further than this, but this is a family show, obviously. And so, uh, no, no, we're going to be kind. Uh, so this is via Reuters. So Samsung uh, Electronics Company has slashed its uh, quarterly profit estimate by a third uh, on Wednesday. That's today. Look at us being all on the button malarkey. Yeah, look at us. We're breaking the news on here today. I I know. I'm shocked too, personally. Uh, so soaking up two point three billion dollar hit. Uh, that's monopoly money dollars, obviously. Uh, hit from uh, ditching its flagship smartphone in what could be one of this the costliest, uh, costliest product safety uh, failures in tech history. That's saying something. Uh, you know, that's coming, that's coming from a, a world where, what is it, the Amstrad ET game existed. It was a thing. You know what I mean? That, saying that it's the costly. That's, that's, a, that's saying a lot. Uh, so qualifying the financial pain on uh, Tuesday's move uh, to scrap the Galaxy Note 7 smartphone after a global recall and weeks of mounting problems. You see, the problem with Samsung Note 7 
is not really the, the, the device itself. It's the users of the Samsung Note 7. How much of a moron do you need to be when you've got a recall after a recall after a recall? You're getting notifications directly on the phone saying, this is going to blow up, possibly, maybe. You need to take it back, bring it back to us. We'll replace it. You need, you need to give it. And they still won't. To the point where they're going on flights and they have to ban the devices on flights just in case. And yet still, the Samsung Note 7 users, the Motley crew, are so dumbass that they can't think, oh, hold on, there may be a problem here. There may be a problem. Oh, I don't know what to do. Should I take it back to the phone company or should I just lick this window a bit longer? I don't know. Samsung Note 7, ha oh. I just, how stupid do you need to be? I just, I just don't get it. What is the world coming to when, you know what? We need a, and this may sound severe, I grant you, but we may need a cull of these people. If they're so thick, they can't work out that there may be a problem. And they're going to get replacement of the same device, just better, i.e., the non existent exploding app. And yet, still, they can't be bothered. Then, quite frankly, they deserve to go. They just deserve that, you know what? Uh, just no, sorry, guys. We're just, we're just, we're going to let you go. We've tried. It's not Samsung's fault. They've tried their best. They're like, we've got a recall. Compared to other recalls, let's be fair. Compare that to, I don't know, a, a a safety issue in braking on like a Toyota allegedly or something. Or um there was a there was a dishwasher I remember at the beginning of the year that you know one of these built in dishwashers in the kitchen I don't go in the kitchen that often I, I I don't know what to do in the kitchen so I just try and keep out of it. But there's you know the the I've heard of these dishwashers and uh it, it would overheat and cause fires. And yet no matter how long they try to go, guys, you really, you really need to, like, we're trying to recall these dishwashers. They, they cause house fires. Somehow, for some reason, they overheat. Bearing in mind, it's a freaking dishwasher where water exists, still causes fire, uh, which is quite impressive. You have to give them credit where credit is due. What a brilliant addition we can even create fire where there's water. My, our brilliance. Bearing in mind, yeah, okay, fair enough. We have to recall all these. But my goodness. Fire where there's water. Genius. So, uh, yeah, yet still, people are not sending back the dishwasher to get it replaced with a new one that doesn't spark. How stupid are these people? Really, if you keep on, surely there must be a law at this point. Sure, there must be a law. If you constantly try and recall these devices, and it isn't one of these silly little recalls where you normally get, where they, they like, I don't know, for like kids' toys. We all, we've all seen them. The kids' toys recalls are always the smallest print. They're like tucked away on their website. Like Fisher Price, etc. You know, any, any of these recalls, they're in tiny... Oh, oh, we've noticed that some people are choking to death. Don't, you know, we need to recall these. Dev you don't hear them out loud. They're not on the you know, like mainstream media news, is it? It's all kind of like on their website. And then later on you hear, well, we did try and recall them. But if you have like a national, international media, even CNN and, you know, Anderson Pooper, him, even him, I was like, oh, by the way, there's a recall of Samsung Note 7 devices. You really need to send them back. Or, you know, national recall, or like all media, even the newspapers are mentioning it, even though they don't even know anything about technology, whatever that is. But they're like, no, we, you really need to send this back. And yet still they don't do it. Then surely if they die and go deaded, then it's their fault, the consumer's fault. It's not the fault of Samsung or uh, is it Benj? Or what, what was that? 
got me confused now. Where was that? What was the one with the, uh, hold on, like dishwasher. Let's see if Google likes us. Dishwasher, because it normally hates me. Uh, recall fire. It's which one? Um... Oh, wow. I actually remembered it was this year. My goodness. So uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, what am I doing here? Let me just, uh, uh, ITV Meow's investigation has found that uh, more, more than 600,000 dishwashers that were recalled due to a fire hazard concerns are still unaccounted for. 27th of May, 2014, this is. There was another one this year. This is the first one that came up on the Google search. Do you see my point? 600,000 people like to be more, are more interested in becoming crispier in a burnt sensation than they are that, you know, like filling in paperwork and getting the workmen in to replace their dishwasher. That's what it is, really. Let's, put it, let's be honest and frank about this. People are just lazy and they're like, fill in the paperwork and get strangers in my house to fondle with my water pipes. Or possible burning sensation. Mm. Possible burning sensation. Or oh, think. Hmm. If they can't be bothered, then quite frankly, there should be a law saying after six months or something. They, they're just like, whatever. That's what they should do. When I come to power, that's what I will do. I will like go, you know what? Six months. After that, if you die, then pff, oh well. Uh, Hello Kelly in the chat room is saying, which dishwasher is this? It was the, uh, the one that I brought up here in 2014 was Hot Point. But there was, uh, I know there was one this year. I know there was. It's driving me mad, which past year, if you Google it. Settle, uh, Whirlpool was another one. Yeah, February 2016, that was Whirlpool. There was another one, though. Who was it? This is the one that I was thinking of. Um, Bosch. Heard of them? Bosch. Bosch, I, you've got, you've got to, you, you really got, at some point, you've got to think to yourselves, words like Lego, which are a made up name and everybody knows what it is. It's fair enough. People can, everybody can pronounce it. Everybody can. It is a beautiful name for a beautiful thing. Most of the time, if we ignore the, the toys of, of. Star Wars. You see, the problem is Lego at the moment. I was having this discussion with Ariane, you know, uh, 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 him, yeah. Um, I was having a word with him about it the other week. And at what point, at what point can you fall out of love with Lego? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking out loud, I was talking to him, and I'm like, they're all just sets now. If it's all about imagination, then stop selling Lord of the Rings Lego and Star Wars Lego. Well, it's definitely Star Wars Lego because it's crap. Uh, not Lego, the Star Wars bit. And, uh, you know, all the other kind of branded Lego. How is that evolving the imagination is my you know, humble opinion about this. It made no sense. But yes, so uh, it just seems to be lots of fire faults with... Uh, with uh, dishwashers. It's uh, a bit of a naughty thing. I, for one, do not approve. But there are, uh, there's, there's a lot of them. But most of the time, you don't hear about it because most of the time, people are lazy. I don't know. I'm not going out their way to double check. Mmm. Oh. <sighs> coffee. I'm a bit annoyed about the coffee. I'm a, I'm a little. I'm a little bit. I'm. I'm a little bit. Just a, just a smidge. You know, I'm going to talk about it. Screw you guys. Uh, basically, 
for this show, I don't use ground coffee. I use uh, instant coffee. It's fine. It does its job. You know, click the kettle, do the job, bosh, it's done. None of this fannying about with filters or, you know, pushing it in that little kind of like silvery bit after the grind and then turning it and pushing buttons and like flashy lights and all that. It's click, done, upstairs in the ivory tower and go. And my favorite, it's simple. It's, it's simple, it's lovely, it's easy, uh, is Nescafe Original. It's a, it's a lovely flavour, I do enjoy it. It is, it is mmm, 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 in my lovely mmm. It is quite nice, it's a nice blend. I, occasionally I do like Kenko, I do like some other varieties of coffee, but generally speaking, Black Lid Nescafe is lovely. However, recently, Nescafe have brought out a new and approved original blend with a red lid. Now, it used to be a black lid, dark brown black lid. Now it's red, where it's double filtered and double refined and blah de blah de blah And basically, a big pile of donkey turd. It is disgusting. It is the foulest thing ever in the history of mankind. Well, that and Nazism, but primarily it is, it is awful. Now, I don't know what they've done because the, the dark brown kind of blacky lid was brilliant. It was tasty. It was yummy. Well, you know the reason why they've done it, isn't it? Because they're quite frankly, they're, uh, they just want to make money somehow. More money is somewhere involved in this. So instead, they've now come out with a um, double filler, uh, filter, so, <laughs> oops, Double, double filler. Mmm. Fill it good. They've come out with this double filter, full flavor variety. I've got a, got a question about this. At what point, if you keep changing the, uh, the makeup of something, and it's not just Nescafe, I mean just generally, if it's called Nescafe Original, and then you update the, the, bra the flavor, the brand, to something entirely different. Are you legally allowed to keep calling it Nescafe Original? Surely at this point, it's no longer original. Surely they should just do what, um, you know, Coke did in the 80s and go, oh, it's new Coke. It's new Nescafe. Because it tastes crap. It is, it's like drinking Nescaf. You don't get any of the, like, the kick of normal flavoured uh, coffee, it's it's just not it's just nothing. There's no real caffeine to it. There's no real flavour to it. You have to put more of the scoops in to actually get back to the normal taste of Nescafe Original. And I know this is a third first world problem, but really, it it's just awful. It's just it's just why? Surely there's a legal case there. I remember there was, a, I know this is going back a few years, but I know there was a time where there was an Aussie, you know, from down south, down their place, who successfully sued Apple because their branding said it had millions of colours on this display when you can only have a certain amount of colours. There's only like, what was it, 260,000 or, you know, 700. There was thousands of colours you can get ever. And this marketing for this display said it you, you millions of colors and successfully you know won the lawsuit and they had to change and stuff but at what point is it illegal for you to keep calling it nescafe original when even your labeling and your lid say it's no longer original it's something different plus they've stopped selling the black lid so you can't even go back to it. Like, I tweeted them earlier today, and I shockingly, they actually got a reply from it going, I'm sorry you didn't like it. It's like, well, that doesn't help me. I still can't get Black Label, can I? Or Black Lid version. I, I, where is it? I can't get it. I want some. I want to get my caffeine fix. It's frightfully rude. Frightfully rude. Naughtiness. But anyway, I feel like I've digressed somehow. I, I, I don't know where that came from, this digression. But I feel like I have. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I'm uh, I'm going to go back to the news. It's safer that way. I feel it's better and safer if I if I uh, go back to the news uh, because I feel like people are not taking this seriously in the chat room. I know it's a first world problem. I appreciate that. However, surely they're lying. Nescafe are li- hashtag bring back black lid. Bring back black lid. Hashtag Nescaf. Uh, that that's mm, that's. Mm. 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 Meanwhile, Alex Jones says Hillary Clinton and Obama uh, are real demons. Now, let's see how they spin this news story, because quite frankly, I, I've seen this, uh, a YouTube version of this that when he, he, he was mentioning this, it was like a week or so ago. So let's see how they, uh, they go on about spinning this little bad boy. So radio host... I think Alex is going to be very disappointed there because he's also, I think you'll find, on the telly box as well. But I feel like I'm picking at this story a little too soon. I, I, sh- I feel like I've digressed a bit. And I, I should take it a li- little, little, you know, spoonage, a little pinch of salt, see what happens here. Okay? Hi, Tori, by the way. Just, you know. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am well, think. I think I am. Oh, you think you are? Oh, jolly good. I like it when you think you are. When we I am ninety nine percent convinced. I hate it when that happens. Uh, so we're talking about Alex Jones uh, from the Huffington Post here. Alex Jones says, "Why? Why do they? Always, surely Alex Jones said, why, why says a thing? What? 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 <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> once again, I feel like I'm having to go at Huffington Post and not necessarily the story they've typed." Uh, Alex Jones. These people are your enemy. Are they? they are never going to stop. No. Oh, they're never going to. Oh, dear. I hate it when that happens also. Uh, so sounds like gonorrhea all over again. Uh, allegedly. Uh, so Alex Jones says Hillary Clinton and Obama are real demons. Which is nice. Not to be confused with all the fake demons you're bothered with every day. Well, that is true. Marty. So radio host and Donald Trump supporter. I like that. They're making it spin in your mind. It's like, oh, he's one of them. Oh, so he supports them and he's demonizing mm. the other opponents. Mm. See, it's That's never happened in politics before. Never. Uh, supporter Alex Jones doesn't need to tell Hillary Clinton and President King Obama uh, to go to hell. Do, 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 do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. He believes they are already, <laughs> they already reside there. Hmm. It's good so to know. he's saying that, that we're in hell also. Uh, maybe. Because mm. if they reside here and we're electing them, that means we're electing the president of hell. Is that such a thing? President? I would think it would be more of a constable position. But, oh, I see. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really familiar with the politics. <laughs> of, of, of hell, yes. Mm. Uh, of Hades, yes. But I can see the point, though, the metaphor of they, they are demons, because especially with Haiti, then that would make sense. You see what I mean? It, it, well, you know. Lee, in fairness, uh, my name is mandatory, not purgatory. <laughs> Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Stop it. You've only been here three minutes and already... uh Try to get it in fast. That's what she said. Uh, So, let's see what he he said, shall we? Let's play the button. Let's hope for the best. Push play. It hasn't played yet. Still waiting for it to play. It's going to play. And Trump comes out and agrees he did it. Right. I will then weigh it, but there's... I'm never a lesser of two evils person, but with Hillary, there's not even the same universe. I mean, she is an abject, psychopathic demon from hell. Right, okay. Already, I've noticed a thing here with the Huffington Post. Their video players are crap. Now, I know I've mentioned this before, but at least this time, people can actually see it for themselves 
on YouTube. I do like this. I'm I finally I've pushed the blame off from me. Tori, have you noticed this? From me to prove that it's actually Huffington Post and these webby sites that we go to where it's actually the player itself that's causing the mischief, not myself. So already, I feel like we're, we're already up on this. We're very good. Right, so... Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We were talking about Alex Jones. I, I, sorry, it's not all about me. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. That as soon as she gets into power, is going to try to destroy the planet. I'm sure of that. And people around her say she's so dark now and so evil and so possessed mm -hmm. that they are having nightmares. They're freaking out. Folks, let me just tell you something. Uh, uh, you tell me if something. If the media wants to go with this, that's fine. Uh -huh. There are dozens of videos and photos of Obama having flies land on him indoors at all times of year. And he'll be next to 100 people and no one has flies on him. Uh, okay, we're going with the you, flies. You know, I, I don't want to critique a demon's work. Okay, okay. But I would have liked to thought... It sounds like you are, though. That during... Well, it I, sounds I, like you're heading I, towards that I, way. The keen ear listeners may think that's where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that uh, I believe Hillary's already had, what, eight years in the White House, and Obama's almost had eight years in the White House. You'd think by now they'd have got the ball rolling. They wouldn't wait till this next campaign before they started destroying. I mean, they already uh, are. We basically, uh, poor Alex Jones only has like three months left, or Obama can't take his guns from him. You know, no, this, this poor guy mm -hmm. has only got three months for the thing he's been warning about since 2008 to happen right and here it is and he's hoping hoping, hoping. that hillary will swoop in there mm. like kevin costner and the bodyguard and pick up his little concern about all the guns being taken and she'll take them away because she's a woman that doesn't have a penis ah which all guns look like that's what that's what they they mm. interesting See, obama wanted to take the guns mm. but because he has a penis he penis couldn't. couldn't right okay okay interesting interesting points hillary reportedly I mean, I was told people around her that they think she's demon possessed. Okay, I'm just going to uh -huh. go ahead and say it. Okay? Go ahead and say it. He said it. They said they're scared. Mm -hmm. That's why when I see her, when kids are by her, I actually get scared myself with a child. I mean, you that big rubber face and that. I mean, this woman is dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. That's I'm telling you. But the thing is, we know she's dangerous. The emails say is that she is dangerous. She's surrounded by people with guns. Why wouldn't she be dangerous? But she's trying to get rid of the guns, isn't she? Oh, not for the security forces, not oh. for the people that protect Congress and the people that protect presidents and the police and the army. They can keep their guns, but it's everybody else. It's not quite oh. on board with the plan. Uh -huh. Got to get rid of Got to get, get rid of them. Those phallic symbols must go. Uh-huh. You're making some interesting points here. Ever so slightly disturbing, too. So it's what, the first for the Dirty Boxer show. I know. That's, I, I need to sit down. I'm feeling a little bit uh, you know, lightheaded. I could have gave you some warning, but I didn't. If you wouldn't mind, next time, that would be great. Thank you. Not going to happen. No? Oh, crap. Uh, anyway, so where were we? We've learned so far that, uh, well, many things. Alex Jones is saying uh, that she is actually a demon. And to be honest, yeah, what is a demon these days? Do, do, do they really need a tail and horns when we know that she's just selling everything from anywhere and corrupting everything that she touches? We know she's a demon at this point, surely. It's a given. I don't even know what, how. How is it possible? Tori, I know that you're a... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, kind of full of knowledge of legal matters. It is almost like, uh, you know, your repertoire, if you will. Uh, so how is an absolute criminal like Hillary Clinton? How is she able to run for president? How is that possible? Well, I would suspect and mm. I, I, I and I will continue to suspect. Mm. And, and this, I, I, I realize this is a bit of a bit of a jolting statement. I'd like everyone to sit down before I say this. But mm. Washington is full of corruption. R oh, it's like dirty bathwater, and you don't put your clean clothes in dirty bathwater. Well, so if we're I'll if we're trying to have somebody run this cesspit of corruption, why would we elect someone innocent for that? 
they would be lost. They wouldn't do a good job. Uh -huh. That's why you need somebody that's already got dirt on their hands, blood on their hands, and knows where the bodies are hidden. And I can think of a few people who are more qualified. Uh huh. When you think of it in those regards. Well, um, I just, it's a bit wrong if you ask me. I don't know why. You, you don't have a banker lead the sermon at a church when you need to build a new chapel. Do you? N no. Money's the issue, uh -huh. but what you really need is, uh, you know, a bit of the faith. So you have a pastor do it, or a reverend, like a little Reverend Lee Brown. Hello, that'd be me, yes. So when you have a corrupt system like uh, the, the Hillary that exists in Washington. Oh, no, oh no, just Washington, no. in, Washington in general. Washington, D.C. Sorry. in Sorry. general. Or uh -huh. you could say all the capital cities of all the countries in the Western world. But we'll just say Washington, uh, Washington D.C. Washington, D.C. Leave yeah. you all out of this for now uh -huh. and say, do we want some innocent person running this? No. No, because they'll suspect people will do what they say they're going to do. They'll suspect that, oh, that people no. are going to uh, be of their word. No, you need somebody who is knows that everybody's a liar and a cheat. And, a, and it's, you need the best liar and cheat you can get in there that'll lie and cheat for the people. That sounds that sounds awful. Oh, yeah. If you're, well, this isn't my first election. Oh, well. I'm, all I'm saying is that I would prefer uh, almost an honest politician i'm sorry to say it i'm sorry to ruin well, let's see how that worked out for jimmy carter will you uh before my time they, they elected an actor to replace him mm. Who, whose vice president happened to be the guy that helped form the cia completely unrelated i'm sure yeah, obviously not uh, his handler at all not there just in case he was assassinated which they tried at all good i'm i'm mm. yes very good yeah Anyway, let's go back to this. I feel like we've digressed somehow. Or I don't know why, but I, mm. so I blame Marty. She is a demon. Yes. She is a demon. This is biblical. She's going to launch a nuclear war. Well, that's true. She is going to launch a war, nuclear, unsure. I I will I'm yes. I agree with that statement, unsure about the nuclear bit. But war, yes. You know, I've been hearing about nuclear war since about 82, I think. Mm. That's when I first remember hearing about it, round about then. And, you know, ever since I've been, uh, you know, uh, growing hair on my love spuds, people have been saying the world's going to end. And I think it's just, I think this is just more of people hoping that the world ends before they die because they couldn't possibly live pardon the pun, mm. with the world being better after they're gone. Maybe uh, the world will be better after you're gone and you just really want it to end so you'll think that you went out on top. Well, uh, guess what? I like being on top. They broke that wall down and that still ain't fixed anything, has it? No, no that is true. Is there any problems in Germany right now? Is there any problems between America and Russia because they broke? Tear down this wall. Oh, yeah, the winds of change are really blowing, aren't they, scorpions? <laughs> The Russians are scared of her. I'm scared of her. By the way, when people are scared of you and they got nuclear weapons, you have a big war. When you're scared, uh, you fight. Uh, so since since 1950 something, no one has been scared of America. But now, now, now since 1947, no one. Well, I, I suspect. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, slightly, slightly scared of America. Uh-huh. They, well, yeah, they it stung a bit, shall we say. Possibly Muslim tourists would possibly be scared of Americans. <laughs> or or black people just trying to go, you know, to and forth from work. Yeah, as, as one does. When you're a man. Oh, when, when you're a man. Yes. You don't crawl in a hole and stick your butt out the other end so the wolf can eat it. You fight. Uh, well, sounds eat it kinky. if you're lucky. Well, yeah, sounds... sounds... Something right up my street all of a sudden. You've, got, you've piqued my interest. It's like to get a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> or sheep's gang, kind of. I'm not Welsh. Um, and I'm going to tell the Democrats something. Okay. And all the trendies, all the rest of you. You've lived on the guts of your ancestors. You've lived off what was built before. You don't appreciate anything. You're pseudo-intellectuals. I think you know everything. I've, I've been around. You are <laughs> unlike just, Republicans who have all built new houses from the time they were newborns. Uh -huh. They didn't at all live off mom and dad's trust fund. They didn't at all inherit a better situation than well, the Democrats. It sounds they like completely you're completely started from scratch as an infant.
It sounds like you're jealous. Uh, it's very I'm just rich. helping him state the facts clearly. Oh, jolly good. I'm, I'm so glad. Despicably sad and pathetic people. Ah. I'm going to sit here and kiss your ass. Oh. If you want to redeem yourself. Well, I'm not interested, Alex. If you're not going you're, to. It's your ass, you got to bury your. You got to stick it up, you know, for the wolf to come eat. Oh, you. that's right. Sorry. Well, at least he could loop it up first, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Then admit Donald Trump's right, admit he's a lion with a bunch of jackals attacking him and hyenas, stand up for what's right, admit the entire power structure you claim you're not part of is against him, and then ask yourself why you want to be part of this delusion club, the delusionites, the delusionals. <laughs> By delusion club, he means alexjones.com. <laughs> you think you're a winner, and you think everything's okay because you said so. I, you know what? Uh, there, he does say a few good points there. He is making some good points. Especially Could as you state one of them in, ling in language that I can understand. Well, he is simply saying that uh, we all know that Hillary has bought off all the mainstream media, majority of it, and yet still Trump Peru is still able to do what he's doing and get ahead in certain polls and get in some traction in certain areas. And eventually, especially with the WikiLeaks coming out, eventually, these this media that has been bought off by Clinton and her, you know. Uh, clientele, shall we say, is now having to, especially today and yesterday, start changing the narrative that they're pumping out and try and become a little bit more neutral because they've now got egg on their face. That's what he's kind of saying. Ish. Maybe. Slightly. I think. Or, may or maybe not. Uh, but I... Suddenly turned awkward. Uh, so, uh, where's the where's the end end credits? End, end credits. Uh, we need. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Saved by the bell. Woo! <laughs> Suddenly, it was sounding a little awkward there. I don't know why. Anyway. So then, uh, we, we we I think we'll end it there, shall we? I think it's safer to walk away and pretend nothing has happened. As we're, I, I fear we are not going to agree with this one, Tori. You know, we don't have to agree with everything, Lee. Well, that is true. I, I'll give you that. But it would you be You are nice. allowed to be occasionally wrong. Uh, which I wasn't. I think you'll find I, I decoded what he was saying by removing the whole demon malarkey. And still, there is a, an actual criminal. We're just waiting for the court case. Oh wait, it will never happen. Uh, running uh, I, for president. An outlaw, not a criminal, by well, my definition. Well, uh, I, I think she's a criminal. I think she's committed no crime. She may have broke some laws, but that's different. Oh, that's entirely different. Of course. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Tori. We'll see you Good. on the other side. Goodbyes. On air, online, on demand, on the move. Dirtyboxers.net.
done gone. Tori for that loveliness there. Very lovely. Second indeed. fish song I ever heard live. Ah, oh, very nice indeed. Uh, lovely little quirky roo there. Very nice. Mm. Uh, so let me just mute you for a second and go like this. The Dirty Boxer Show has ended. Warning. The following program is not safe for work. I repeat, the following program is not safe for work. The subject matter discussed will be of a frank and very frank nature. Your mother you will be offended. Mother. You will be intrigued. And you may be turned on a little bit. Shit. The participants are real. Their language is real. Their anger is real. Things are about to get extra dirty. Hey. My queen bitch. My, oh, well, I've suddenly escalated there. A little bastard fuckeroo there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Extra Dirty and all that bollocking good shit. My name's Leah. Hello. That one's there, Tori. Hang on. How are ye as a listener? I'll re- wait your reply on Twitter at Mendo Tori. Oh, you're, you're pimping out your, your Twitter handle now. Is this what's going on? Well, it's been a little quiet on the Twitter sphere, As and it. Uh, you know, I blocked everyone's retweets because I'm that kind of bastard. Uh, uh-huh. But I wouldn't mind, you know, some direct tweets; those would be nice. Oh, you know, but just just some pokes from people out there. Let me know that this internet thing's not just some sort of silly matrix or some Truman show where none of y'all exist, or just some fucking cartoon that exists for my existence. I don't need that sort of shit. Ah. so just say hi. I guess what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. You know, each of their own. Fuck tarts, honestly. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so... Um, I wasn't trying to promote anything is what I'm saying. Oh, that's all right then. Um, that's good to know. It was a plea for human contact. No one, no one deserves it. It's a bit different. It's a bit... It's a, it's a, it's a, you right there? You okay? You all right? You, sound, you seem a little... You seem a little yeah. upset. Mm. You seem a little... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you maybe defend a lizard. That's pretty low. Oh. Well, that's suddenly awkward. Uh, if this helps, I don't know if this will. Uh, Do you think it will before you even offer? I wouldn't know. I don't know you that well. I just, you know, obviously. Well, I, I, I apologize to you, Lee Renner. Please continue. Well, you never know. This might help. This might, you know, make you well, feel better. Well, it might do a lot of things, but let's just get to it. Well, all I'm suggesting is, uh, is that... Uh, Matt MCS is uh, is all right with a smiley face. Now, has that helped you with your situation, your issues? Well, I don't appreciate him lying to me like that, but oh. uh, oh, I mean, right. not everything is all right. Uh. I'm sure many people have issues right now. Uh-huh. Maybe not Matt. Maybe Matt's just walking on air. YouTube superstar and all that. Uh-huh. But some people got issues, Matt. Not everything is all right, okay, bro? Oh, right. oh dear. Oh. All oh, right. Um, Anything else you want to point out to me, Lee? Well, um, Digital Rhapsody Essentials is a thing. I don't, I don't know if that is, is nice to mention. Uh, 
digitalrhapsody.net forward slash essentials. Uh, save you some money. Save some money. Go go and save yourself some money. There we go. Very lovely. Day. Um, fine. Fuck you then. Uh, so uh, it doesn't sound <laughs> like there's there's much I can do. I think but I'm I, being I, a I, brilliant I, friend by trying to help you. Uh, trying or suggesting that things might be help. Uh, That's not really trying. It's like uh, throwing shit on the wall. See, it sticks. Well, um, well, yes, but it, I'm I'm doing my best. Well, you're doing your, you're you're doing. Yeah, uh, yes. Let's leave it at you're doing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Your best. Uh, I like to think none of us ever do our best because uh, we did our best, and it would rely upon past actions. So we would always had to have done our best, and it's just impossible to ever go back and do the right thing when you passed up that opportunity. But I digress. Yeah, I feel like you have slightly digressed. Yes. Um, Not to have a go or anything. I I was just questioning the veracity of your statement upon that being your best attempt. I've I've done worse, if that helps. Well, technically, everything except for the worst thing you've ever done is better than the worst. Right. And none of it's your best. Except for the one that is furthest from the worst thing you've done. Well, so, so I do have a list the best. of things uh-huh. at the top here. You've got the, the best thing you've done. So I have got a best and, and, thing. And a list of worst thing you've ever done. And uh-huh. you say you've done worse. You could still be like 20 or 30 things from best and still have a lot of room to say, yeah, I've done worse. Or you could have done a lot of horrible things and not be telling us about it and using that to prop up the statement which you just made. Uh huh. Like there may be bodies buried somewhere, and you could, you're sitting here going, "Well, I, I've done worse," and secretly grinning, knowing that you've got a dirty shovel. I should polish my shovel. Yes. Shit, I need to get onto that. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Not everybody can be a, a savior like Glenn Beck. Oh well, that is true. Glenn Black is a, a very lovely human being. Cool man. Uh. Talking about Glenn Black. Hold on, glennbeck.com. Right, this go across to that little um, can, I, can I give you my new conspiracy theory? Well, first off, can I can I just like give you something of uh, which will which will shock and amuse and generally be wow. If it's from Glenn Beck, you're probably gonna want my theory first. Oh go on then. Well the theory is is that Glenn Beck is uh is a ha, is and has been a Democrat from day one, uh, building a fan base around himself, even his own channel and stuff, mm. uh, saying all these outrageous things so that he gets only the craziest of crazy people to follow him. And uh-huh. then when the election comes around that they want to swing, it's like, oh, vote for the uh, Democrat. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. The one that wants to take your guns, the ones that then uh-huh. take your penis pills and panic seeds. Some that we don't actually sell on this show. It's fucking amazing. Uh, by the way, um, yes. I've just gone to glenbleck.com and uh, real estate agents I trust. Mercury Real Estate Services. Mercury is his Bit fucking... son for me. Now, hold on. Mercury is his fucking thing, isn't it? I'm sure that's his... Um... Hold on. Let me go down. Let me scroll down oh, to is the bottom. Like, is, that like, is that like his little private... Uh, yeah, uh, copyright. Golf, Two th- golf type thing. No, hold on. Copyright 2016, Mercury Radio Arts, all right, reserved. Yeah, right down the bottom there. And let me, uh, let me, uh, like, right, right there, right there, right there. Well, that, that's known as an in house ad. I mean, that's done. I mean, AMC's constantly showing ads for AMC stuff during shows. Are they? Yeah, you got that. Don't you, haven't you ever watched a show and all of a sudden you see two characters walk up? Uh, green screened at the bottom of the screen and then a little banner comes up and says coming up at so and so I don't know if y'all get that over here but over here no. we have ads during shows yeah I know I know that's why I live over here because um, it's been spoofed a few times on like Family Guy and Simpsons I think oh yeah anyway back to Glenn Black if you go to watch button I, I really recommend this seriously ser- ser- seriously fucking so watches now suck fucking seriously right so now, Seriously. Now, admittedly, history uh, is shit. 
Don't, what is his story? His story uh, is is shit. Don't, it looks like it says hi story. Uh, yes, it it's does. Like an introductory. It does look like that. Don't watch it. It's shit. Uh, however, Vault. Vault. Fucking brilliant. Like a Sim- pole vault. Yes. Uh, close. Similar. Fucking brilliant. So, glenbleck.com forward slash videos. Vault is what you want to watch. It is about um, what he's done. Is, uh, I've always admired Glenn Black as a decent storyteller. He's really good at storytelling. Not necessarily the rest of his shit that he does. He but could he's cry on a dime. Well, that is that too. But, I mean, there is... Um, what, which one is it? Uh, what it takes to be a millionaire is basically... Um, it should be named Walt Disney and the Nazi. It's fucking brilliant. It's a brilliant fa- like, and he's got the doc. Uh, he's got um, kind of pieces, items that should be in a museum. And it's, uh, allegedly, he's suggesting that he's going to build one eventually. But uh, he's got artifacts that he's purchased from different um, uh, auction houses and stuff. And he tells you a story. But you've got the items in front of you, the actual original pieces that he is also showing you as well to illustrate the story as it goes along. And it is really very well done. I would highly recommend it. It is actually good. The rest of the shit he does, fuck him. But I mean, uh, generally speaking, it's good. There's, uh, I think that was my top tip. I, th- I actually think that could be considered a top tip. Are you trying to promote your city? No, Ginge, no, I'm not. Seriously, I'm not. Not this time. But, yeah. There's always a first, isn't there? We, we, we could do that. Sometimes there's a second. Oh, I like it when there's a second. Third or fourth gets a bit samey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Uh, we've Anywho. got any... Whom? Uh, I've got so many buttons here. I don't know which ones to fucking push. Lee, pick the shiny one, please. Pick the shiny one. The, what? The short stubby one. I can push the short stubby one if you want. I can. I can, uh, I can it, do that. It, it's really about what you want. Oh, go on. I'll push it now. Uh, anyway, the point is, the short stubby one is the one that plays ads. I can actually play ads while people are watching on YouTube. I don't know why I'm allowed to have that button, but, you know, each to their own. So um, the other button I've got is to a, um, a news article that has been submitted lovingly by Tasha Bella, the love of my life, obviously. And uh, hello, lovely. Uh, and she uh, has sent in shit tons today. Actually, shit tons. <laughs> Backpage CEO arrested on sex trafficking charges. Mm. Oh my. I know, George. I know. Uh, The site is accused of facilitating sex trafficking, uh, including that involving children. Mm. Now, have you ever heard of Backpage? Sorry. I know, I know. Uh, so uh, the only back page I can remember, I think, is a song called "My Back Pages." Uh, no, it was something like I, I. I don't think it was. I don't think it's the same. The same one. Okay, yeah. He, well, this one's Bob Dylan sings a lot of times. So. Yeah, he do, he doesn't look like the sort of person who. Uh, I think it was a band song or something originally, though. Maybe, maybe it was a different songwriter. Who, you know. Maybe that's a bit of research that the the interested listeners of uh, you know what, what? musical selections I might bring to the attention of the dirt boxes listeners. Check uh-huh. out my back pages. It's a great song. Hmm. But but it's not related. Not related. To back page. Yeah. Nor the CEO, unless he owns that Bob Dylan box set. But that's some weird Kevin Bacon shit that we don't do on this we, show. We don't. We don't do this show. Yeah. Uh, this this he is based or is coming from a San Fran. Uh, where uh, Carl Ferrer, that's two names, isn't it? Carl Ferrer. Innocent until proven guilty. Uh, the, the chief executive of advertising website Backpage.com was arrested on 
Thursday on criminal charges, including pimping, as authorities, <laughs> including but not limited to, pimping, obviously, uh, as authorities investigate the company which has been accused of facilitating sex trafficking of minors. An alleged quote from Mr. Ferrer is, Bitch better have my money. <laughs> what an interesting alleged quote that may be. Hmm. Um, what I can't work out is we know that Craigslist does some extracurricular activities on there. So what's the difference? Why is Backpage.com getting slapped down like a bitch? Yeah, Cra uh, Craigslist is, is hunky fucking dory. What, what is the difference? Why is that a difference? There may be specific cases which were facilitated more specific? by... Specific? You want specific cases? Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> well, you know, it's, it always does come down to details in the courtroom. <sighs> and if we're talking about someone's blah, innocence blah, or blah, guilt... Blah, blah. blah. As if let's we... hear the specifics first. Oh, fine. Uh, the authorities general of Texas and California announced Ferry's arrest, uh, saying in a press release that he had been taken into custody in Houston on a California warrant. Now, isn't that wrong? Isn't that isn't that a little bit backward? Isn't that not allowed to be done sort of thing? It would be out of the jurisdiction of a California officers. Yeah, but... Is the warrant out of the jurisdiction of the Texas warrant? No, you can't. You can't commit a felony, then cross the state line and be safe. You're not ah. safe anywhere from a lot of felonies. They will come find you in other countries and extradite you for felonies. Uh, uh, um. See, I've always like like what's like think think Julian Assange. Assange. Yeah, him, Silvery Fox. Yeah, what about him? Uh, he he would be extradited if it were possible, or if it were politically uh, convenient, I suppose. Uh huh. Oh yeah, he eventually will be. You know, he comes across. They, the... They'll dump his body in a, in the ocean. Well, that's after, because. Yeah. Don't forget that's uh, that's what he would look. He wanted on his will. Well, it's hard um, to disprove that, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. If you, I don't know if you know this about Julian Assange, that, that he does actually like. It's part of his beliefs that he uh, he should be buried at sea. I don't. I don't know if you know about this. And there won't be any DNA testing. Someone or like Andy Kaufman. Oh yeah, similar, similar. I'll give you that. Yeah, Tim, similar, but not quite because that would be weird. But not like Steve Jobs or Michael Jackson. No, they they specifically like land. They're very boring. Land. Land ho. Ew. <laughs> Crossing the streams. Uh, so, who we got here? Um, Kaylee Louvre. 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 The Louvre. Similar. Close enough. Uh, a spokeswoman uh, from the Texas Attorney General said uh, Furrer is currently in custody, but declined to prove any additional information on when or where he would appear in court. Now, surely that, that sounds a bit... Surely they should be, well, here we go, you know, he'll be on court on Monday. Surely that's normally how it goes. Why would there be lingering... Well, the, the judge may be on vacation, you know, took uh... the family to Disney or something, you know, spring, a fall break for school. Things like this. Uh, yeah, well, that's understandable. Uh, attorneys... court, court, court cases are, are ranged around the personal schedules of many people who are involved in the, uh, the electoral process. Mm. So you know, your, your clerks, your judges, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so attorneys or, uh, for Backpage.com could not be, uh, uh, you know, immediately be reached. Oh. So they're like... Where, where are they? Well, we, we can't. We, we haven't they, they put their messages on the back burner. <laughs> that could be it. Uh, California IA's uh, Attorney General uh, also announced a criminal charge on Thursday against the controlling shareholders of Backpage.com. Uh, California IA AG spokeswoman Christian Fox. Uh, no, not Fox. Fort. I'm thinking someone entirely different. Uh, possibly said warrants. So it's a money grab. Yes, uh, warrants have been issued uh, for the uh, shareholders as well. 
uh, and are not currently in custody. Backpage.com has faced scrutiny from the U.S. Senate as well as uh, civil lawsuits over allegations that the site facilities uh, facilitates sex traffic- trafficking, especially of children. Oh, dear. But, like I said, if... Well, you know, uh, what if... I will say that's not a concern. Well, obviously... You know, it is a concern. That is but a concern. If, but... It, it, it should also be, you know, pretty obvious by now that there is a demand for a service which facilitates consenting adults. Yes, which is obviously to, Craigslist. Well, well, not officially. Ah. I mean, people are still selling dishwashers on there and stuff, so. Well, yeah, uh, well there is that, yeah. I'm so, so uh, you know, they, they say there's a time and place for things. Well, where's the place for this? If it's not on this, uh, and I'm not saying that the child part. I'm talking about just the, the what it, what would be considered a legal transaction mm. between consenting adults. Of of course, consenting be, meaning that there's not they're not some you know person that's in modern slavery or sex traffic. Have you noticed that the increase of this whole modern slavery bollocks? Uh, I haven't, but it's because I'm free. Uh, are you though? Are you? Oh, I, yes, I am. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Uh, isn't that isn't that good to know? That's that's good to know. That is. So I'm uh, I'm intrigued about so many meow stories today because uh, Tasha Bella is obviously been extraordinarily bored, or allegedly tripping her tits off on some extraordinarily amazing new drug that is just ins- like obsessively emailing amazing shit to our email address. One of the two. I'm sure there's a third option, which is obviously... I ain't on drugs. Nah. You on drugs. Mm. You think I'm on, on, drugs. On, on drugs. Ain't nobody here on drugs. Oh, that's all right then. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> just so many good fucking stories here. Crazy shit. Uh, let's, let's, uh... let's move through a few then. Yeah, let's, I am. Let's, let's keep it moving. I am. I'm just trying to choose. Which Let's get one to, to it then. Hop to it. For fuck's sake, Let's boy. go, man. Fucking hell. Uh, so we've got... I don't uh, have all day to start feeling good, okay? All right, fine. Uh, NYC Pharmacy pushes for gender equality by charging 7% man tax. What fucktards? Uh, so let's have a look at this. So um, all female customers shop tax-free... All male customers are subject to a 7% man tax. Uh, let's just see who, who, uh, what cunty individual has put this on. Um, this is coming from daily dot, dot, daily dot, dot com. My mind may have had a small seizure then. A little one. I hopefully will what fix it. What the hell is in- a tampon tax? <laughs> Over the past few years, there's been an increasing movement to do away with the tampon tax, which is what the fuck? Who gives a shit? Uh, do you um, do you stuff anything up anywhere? Do you ever do you need a tampon? Tori, have you ever used a tampon? Well, I might want, need to buy some for a friend. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, interesting. Good, uh, deflection there. Very good. Um, I never, I still don't understand which one's which with the tampon and the other one. That kind of, that, that thing. I don't get it, because obviously I don't, I, I don't need them, so. It's a whole chicken and an egg situation for, for guys. Uh-huh, okay. They're with no idea which came first. No. Do you even know which one's which? Isn't one a sanitary towel, one's a tampon? Isn't that it? I yes. Don't, I think so. One's an innie, one's an Audi. That's it, yeah. I think that, yeah. I, I, the tampon's the innie. Yeah. They should call it the tamp in. Obviously. They're missing a trick. They're missing, obviously. Oh. I think it's a bit late to try and, you know, resolve that situation now. Anyway. Yeah, it's branded. Oh, dear. Uh, so, uh, and other taxes that act- um, activists... So stuck up lesbian feminists. I'm I'm sensing, but reading between the lines there, I'm assuming it might be, you know. 
Uh, you know there's a tax on condoms, right? Is there? There shouldn't be. It's non-grocery, so in America it's taxed. Oh, bless you. Uh, so activists say put uh, an undue burden on women. For instance, in many states, menstrual... <coughs> Sorry, I, I don't... <laughs> Serious. Let's be serious for a second. Let's try and work this through. Uh, now, when you say menstrual, you're not talking like a bard that's going around with a lute, you know? No. From castle to castle. I think you'll find that's a minstrel. I think okay. you'll find it. Not to be confused with the chocolate sweet, just to clarify. I, I, you know. Uh, so, uh, a, or a menstrual. Or that, yeah. Uh, so, a menstrual products are taxed as luxury items. Hey, shouldn't it be womenstrual? You would think so. Oh, don't get well, the... Well, fuck- drag us into this. Don't get the dikey feminists involved again, because they go, oh, no. Start your straw. I'm surprised they're spelling it with an E, I'm, you know, because they obviously, some, some of them reword women with a Y instead of an E, because they don't like, because they, they hate it that men are involved. Because they've got maybe, nothing Maybe spelling wasn't their best subject. Well, that, oh, maybe, maybe that's true. However, I prefer, you know what? Here's a suggestion, and maybe I might get told off for this. Maybe. Maybe. But why don't we take these fucktards and send them to Syria and, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia and other places that have really liberal views on women and see what the diking fairies fucking say then. Let's see what happens then. And then ship them back after a month, maybe two, and then see what the you know their flapping fucking faces say after that little experience, the little excursion. Because this is getting fucking ridiculous. This third wave feminist bollocks is getting ridiculous now. It's actually ridiculous. Well, that's just your male privilege speaking. Oh, is it? Oh, that that isn't just me with my like. My morals and my views there. That isn't that isn't like an actual representation of what the fucktards are doing nowadays with males spreading and all that shit. Hiding behind the shield of a matriarchy. Oh, how dare I? I feel so dirty. <laughs> so very dirty. Mm. Okay, a little bit too dirty. Sorry, bringing it back. <laughs> Roll it back a bit. Wash that off, please. <laughs> so menstrual products uh, are taxed as luxury items, and a woman's uh, blouse costs more to dry clean than a man's button-down shirt. Even if they remade, they're remade of the exactly the same material. Why would they be remade? I think that's the RE from there. Oh, if they're re- <sighs> If they're made. Uh, so it's space between. Is that supposed a. to be a space there? Oh, the fucking. Ba- sorry, my dyslexic eyes. They confused me there. I didn't really. I'm sorry. That, that's not your eyes, Lee. They fucked that up. Properly. <laughs> uh, of exactly the same material. Uh, paired that with the wage gap, which doesn't fucking exist. You see, it's getting to the point, and I may be wrong on this, and I look forward to your letters, dear listener, but I'm sure our mailbags will be broomed to the full uh, with their interesting wordage. However, if women keep going on with this alleged whale, uh, like whale, no, wage gap bollocks, then surely they they deserve less wage, even though it doesn't exist, because they can't fucking do maths right. Surely, Tori. At any time, step in and help me out, bruv, friend. Any time, mate. <laughs> any time, buddy old pal. Any, any time, don't worry. We're all friends here. Any time, Yes, I, I'd have to agree that the... That... That uh, women, the plight that they have to deal. I mean, let's not, you know, even get into how much women have to pay to raise a child single-handedly. Most of the time, if it's a single parent, it's oh, a don't, woman, don't not get, a man. Don't get bigger old man involved in this as well. We don't, we don't need that. 
However, they do get support off the state a little bit and support off the bloke if they can catch him. And, you know, and, and, and they get the scorn of, of a portion of the population that doesn't think anybody should ever get any sort of a helping hand at all. Uh huh. Well, uh, that, that's they get just to stupid. have that scorn, whether they deserve it or not. They get it. They get pulled into a group of people that are con- that are said to be sucking off the teat of the society. It's a lovely when teat. It, when it's when it it was the 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 male that that sucked off the teat and then left, mm-hmm. and you know, now she's stuck raising a human being. Human. Uh huh. Okay. Human. Human. Uh, but mm. see, for me. And it's not all about me, admittedly. But for me, I I just mm, I'm just confused by this because um it doesn't make any sense because the the wage gap doesn't exist in proportion. Men pay in more because we don't splodge kids from our you know minge. So we you know we don't. Oh, hey, mentally, hey, don't minge. hey, owner of a drugstore, you want to do something to help with that? How about you start a daycare that's affordable? There's an eye. Oh, there we go. That's brilliant. That'll be that'll be ex- exquisite. That'll be very lovely indeed. So, uh, which which so we can uh, name and shame them. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, one Manhattan pharmacy uh, is take, uh, trying to solve that gap with a 7% man tax. Uh, Soho Pharmacy is now charging 7% man tax. Um, what are they called? I, th- I think they're called Thompson Chemicals? That can't be right. Chemists? Uh, oh, that's right there. Thompson Chemists owner Jolie. That sounds like a, a minjona. Your motherfucker. Now, that, is, is that a minjona? That sounds like a minjona. Jolie. 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 No, Jolie. it's got nothing to do with bacon. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with bacon, honestly. Uh, so, uh, told the daily dot dot com, uh, she put up the sign today. When was this? When, when, was, when was today? Let's go after the uh, 10th of October. No, we're a little bit late to the story, but fuck it. You know, mainstream media is fucking ridiculous. Well, we're not late to the election yet. So no, I mean, not yet. No. Uh, and if you, if you keep scrolling, you'll see some mention of the election. And this is probably sponsored to get uh, women out there to vote. Oh, because obviously they they need to be you know encouraged. This is about women empowerment. Well, what's more empowering than going out and voting for a woman for president? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh We've so, had zero women presidents so far, so that would be, a, you would think, a step in some direction. So if you're a woman in New York City, uh, maybe it's time to Where start Hillary up. was a congresswoman from. How good was she? I, I hear she was shit at that job. I hear that she's shit at every uh, job she's done. In the- <laughs> It's a shit job to have, so I mean. Oh, is it? Oh, is that what we're going with? Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, it's a cesspool. Ah. Uh. We were discussing that earlier. What? The cesspool of... Um, the, of corruption and, and, you know, misappropriations and all that shit. Oh, you're, t- you're talking about New York? I'm talking about Washington, D.C. Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were talking about women's minges again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I welcome the opportunity to go back to the minges. Uh, well, who doesn't? Apart from those... Uh, Sexist gays. Ah, sexist, sexist, sexist gays. I don't know why they, uh, you know, those women collect them like Pokemon. I don't get it. Why, why, do, they, why do they do that, Tori? You're a man in the world. Why do the women collect uh, gays as like Pokemon? Uh, the gays don't give a shit about women. They out, they out mince women. Why, why uh, the that they... Maybe they want hair and makeup tips. What, from the gays? Or from the women? Uh, a little from column A, a little a. from <laughs> column B. Column B, okay. Very, very, hmm. Uh, so, this is an interesting story. Um, and uh, I, I, don't, I don't want Americans to think that somehow I am... Um, Proving that, once again, uh, Brits are better than Americans on this. 
I, I hope yeah, that no one no one would accuse you of that because I don't I don't want them to think that especially I'm, not doing it again. Well, I just I just want to clarify that it's not to do with um, you know to prove that the Brits are, are brilliant in comparison. Yeah, how could it be? Because because it isn't. I'm I'm just saying that it in this instance it's, it's in a long list of things that isn't. Mm, well, I'm just I'm just I don't want to be accused of of. Uh, here, I told you're you in so. a safe place, Lee. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. So, while we're waiting for uh, Sony's shit 4K uh, TV uh, to be pre advertised there on the pre roll malarkey, let's now find out. Oh, by the way, if you're going to buy um, a 4K, well, bunny floppy floppy is 4K telly box, buy an LG OLED. That's what you want. That's much superior quality. You fucking love could it. Could I find one of those at digitalrapsy.net forward slash essentials? I think you could, yes. Or, or alternatively, why don't you just try uh, a mogul.com and see if you can buy it cheaper via there. It's like a, like a Google search for Amazon. Not now, after the show. Well, you can open up another tab if you're so eager and willing but, to do or so. Or if you're so uh, able. Well, there's that too. Well, last is listening. Oh. Uh, Lance is listening. Because if YouTube's on your phone and then you tab, then it stops playing the video, which stops the audio, which stops the show. But yeah, YouTube it's, on phones is shit. So yeah, a mogul.com. Uh, very lovely indeed. It uh, supports the show. Very loving and very lovely. Well, you know, we keep forgetting to mention that bastard fucking thing. It's a fucking good shit hot thing, that is. But it's kind of because I think digitalrapsy.net forward slash essentials is the new Marty. Of supporting dirty boxers, and it has to be mentioned so often. Oh, look at my shiny badges! Uh, oh, badges, oh. badges, 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 badges. Oh, you're, are you? Oh, yeah. Because cause he uh, he, here comes Marty with a mushroom. Oh, bastard! Uh, so what? What you're saying is that because because it's essentials snake. does uh, so well for you know saving people some money. <laughs> That a mogul just gets overlooked. Is that is that what you're saying? Well, you know, it's it's like uh, you can't see the stars during the daytime, but they're still out there. But that is true. What what interesting uh, insight we're bringing to the world today. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Gorilla escapes zoo enclosure. This is uh, London Zoo, I think you'll find. Uh, and celebrates a brief freedom by chugging down some black blackcurrant um, uh, squash. We would call it, you call it syrup, because obviously you're, you're fucking thick, America. So, um, remember Harambe? I know it's too soon. I appreciate that. But you Dicks remember, out for Harambe. Exactly. You know how they, that horrible incident ended in death of Harambe and uh, is awkward and very unsociable and rude and it's just hard to deal with in some respects because obviously that Harambe was just a god of uh, everything really we cut, cut, can we cut this for a second well, we're going to get Google kind of fucking slammed uh, so I'll tell you something else that we're getting fucking slammed every time you play it uh, that's the fucking one no stop it no no they are fucking Nazis the twats who are running their like the, the Google love for that fucking song no, it isn't fair use because because you're we're bastards. I think is their email. Uh, so it's not fair. And I'm Marcia, like, Marcia, Marcia. I keep like emailing them, going, "Well, it's a two ho- it's a two hour show. We use you for five seconds. It's fair use." No, it's not. Fucking twats. They're absolute twats. Anyway, I feel like I've digressed. So, gorilla escape zoo enclosure. So uh, let's push play and find out. Some information. Now we've got rid of the fucking ad. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I need to unmute it because the fucking ad was so fucking addy. Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. It's been a week since this silverback gorilla made his great escape at London Zoo. And Yeah, so uh, already... Um, is it wrong to uh, mention that her voice is annoying? Is it wrong? Is that sexist, Tori? Or is that observation? I didn't really find her voice that annoying. I found it extraordinarily annoying, but I'll still continue. Life for Kombuka has returned to normal. Kombuka. 
Who is? Can we? Can we name and shame whoever came up with the fucking names of these bastards? Kambuka. Kambuka. Uh, not to be confused with Arombe. It's someone. Well, in just t- go ahead. Call it Kambukaki. Oh no, no, we shan't. Um, London Zoo. And life for Kambuka has returned to normal as he wanders around the enclosure, relaxed and seemingly content. Of course, because uh, <laughs> as he walks around his enclosure, relaxed. relaxed. That's like saying that a prisoner is walking around their cell, relaxed. Is it really relaxed, or is it just they got nothing else they can fucking do They've about got, it? Uh, mm, mm, ponder, maybe column A, bit of column B. Details have emerged from his eventful escapade, and it appears to be a serious case of opportunism. Oh no, not a serious case. I hate it when it's a serious variety. I tell you what, if I was a gorilla, if I, to get out of a zoo, their kids look like a stocking full of raw steak. Mm-mm. I'd be, I'd be shredding everybody to get out of there. <laughs> the twenty-nine stone silverback even managed to get his hands on a bottle of black currant cordial, of which he downed five undiluted liters of. Oh no, not five un. Undiluted. Unfortunately, liters. Kambuka died of diabetes <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> Wilford Brindley had this to say. Moral of the story? He shouldn't have escaped. He was safer where he was. Ah, oh, if only he knew. Oh, dear. Don't open your eyes. You won't like what you see. <laughs> A door was open. He took the opportunity to explore. As a good silverback would, he would just explore, just to make sure there was no risks or anything to his family. Oh, what, what a good silverback. Well done, silverback. That was Professor Sp- Speak Hole person from the London Zoo. He's like, oh no, this syrup, such a threat to my family. Better drink it. You better drink it all. Oh dear. He was just exploring. Doing his duty. He was just exploring. He's doing his duty. And he found... Some extra juice. Oh, because obviously, yes, yeah, some extra juice. Mm. <sighs> the mystery has been solved. What fucking mystery? Where, where was there anywhere? How he got the fuck out? I think that should be a little bit of a mystery. <laughs> oh, I suppose. So I'm still focused on the black currant juice. I'm like, where the fuck? How was that a mystery? Who drunk the fucking thing? How was that? You know, <clears throat> sorry, I... I uh, mm. Buka appear to have taken advantage of human error by wandering through unlocked doors before being stopped by a keeper. Buka and one of our keepers were in the same physical space. Notice in the same physical space. Now, what do you think happened? Did he shoot the fucking thing to death? Or did he sort it out because he is a well-trained keeper and knows what the fuck he's doing. Unlike, I don't know, American zookeepers, for example, who panic like fucking pussies. Allegedly. I don't... Tori... Well, they thought? did come around and take all the guns from the zookeepers. Oh, so. did they? Oh, that fucking Hillary Glenn Black uh, bastard. Shake her angry fist. Kind of cunting butter. But he is a good storyteller. Have I mentioned this story? Uh, he, I believe you told that story. Glenn Black is a good storyteller. Check out the vault. It's a good fucking. Like I tell you, another one that I uh, emailed to. Uh, oh, Tasha did Bella. you see? Did you see who wrote this story? No. No, we're not. Uh, however, who's, a, who, what, whose names are at the top of this? Uh, by the way, the uh, history of the Democratic Party is a fucking good episode. By the way, going back to Glenn Black, uh, series one, episode five of the Vault. Opened my fucking eyes and uh, I emailed it to Tasha Bella and she goes, Oh, yeah, I knew all this shit. And I was like, All right, fine, but I didn't. And it was fucking. She does her research. She, she, she is head of research. I, I, uh, how silly of me to question. But I'm just saying. Fool. I'm sorry. You I'm, fool. I thought it would, you know, be enlightening for her. Some a little bit of a like, late night kind of telly before she went to bed. Something, you know, a story. It was very lovely. It's day. okay, Lee. Maybe we can get you a job as a minstrel or something. I think I would look sexy with those bells dingly dangling. I would look brilliant. Obviously. Uh, how's your rhythm? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, you know, I can thrust like, you know, you know, pretty good. Any tap abilities? 
Uh, I, I, I've tapped a few up in my day. I thank you. I think we're very good. Maybe it's something you should consider. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. It just showed the professionalism of the keeper. The professionalism of the keeper. No, no, no. It's interesting how the Brits are basically going. You know that. You know, you know the professionalism of the keeper is in locking the fucking door. But still, he hasn't been shot and killed. Notice this, America. Note this. You may want to write this down. No, no killing. And the zookeeper was not a child, apparently. Well, you know, he knew what he was fucking... The professionalism. Notice that. Professionalism of the keeper. There was no panic. No but panic. he and Kambuka have got an incredible relationship. Unlike, unlike anything involved in an American zoo, which just gets killed. It's like, oh shit, bang, dead. You know. Can we have, is it now a good time to have a moment of silence for Harambe? Is it, is it a good time or is it a bit too late? I don't, I don't know. Is it wrong? I think Harambe's getting all the silence he wants now. <laughs> a little too soon, perhaps? A little too soon. He was able to just talk to Kambuka in his normal tone. How you doing, Buki? Calm. How are you doing, Buki? You all right, bruv? Big How's the up. family? <laughs> <laughs> found, found any threats to him lately? Bruh, big it up, homeboy. Um, no problem here. Give me and some peace just... knuckles. <laughs> able to keep to reassure him. The important thing is, is that personal bond between the gorilla and their keepers. I think the, the important thing here is that he's still fucking alive, America. No, just, I'm just, you know, just as a small, tiny, insignificant footnote. He's still alive. Ah, dear. It's incredible. And that just allowed the situation to remain calm and get resolved. Mm. And resolved the situation was, no doubt. Yeah, yeah the resolved the situation was. It's similar to America. Similar. Both situations were resolved. Kumbuka yes. will the, be staying. The, the, the gorilla was returned to their cage and the zookeeper cleaned the shit out of their unders. <laughs> but for now, unless, of course, he has a serious craving for some black currant cordial. Oh, some serious... Oh, someone, someone's puncher, please. Fuck, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Dang, somebody dangle some on a string over the edge of the enclosure. Let's make this an interesting story. Cooey! Oh, that'll be brilliant. Now that he's got a taste for the good stuff. <laughs> First one's free, Kombuku. Mmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's talk about some, uh, While. meth. It's been a while since we've spoken Mr. about Mr. Meth. Mr. Meth. Yeah. Uh, let me just uh, wait for the mathematics. Uh, this is a uh, another fucking um, ad. Just currently waiting to be. Uh, let's just uh, uh, swirly, swirly, swirly. Waiting. We're for... dying. We're dying. Been in we accident. need money. Talk to an experienced lawyer from Slater and Gordon. Oh, I should because I'm. I'm. I've been injured in an accident. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's very mm, free consultation. Accidents oh. at work and accidents on holiday. Oh, uh, accident! You got some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Mm, mm. Oh, that's very lovely indeed. It's at Gordon.co.uk. He said, "Kapuya, kapuya." Gordon, your case is our cause. Oh, is it? That's very nice of them. That's very lovely. Right, so I came here for the same reason people go to the zoo. Uh huh. What to get shot? Oh, too soon. Uh. So here we go. What's the worst you thought would ever happen? For What's the worst? Is this a leading question, possibly? What's the worst that you thought it could happen? Tori, what's the worst? I'm going to go with meteor wiping out the planet with an extinction level event. Well, no, that's Russia's got that sorted with their dash cams. We're, we're fine with that. They're, they're, they're... Uh, three meteors from different directions at once. Oh. Oh, that, that is fucking, that's quite bad. Personally, I would think Hillary Clinton being in the fucking White House. Without... She's already been there for eight years. What's the worst that happened? Yeah, but she wasn't Somebody in charge. Got a job. She wasn't in charge then. It's all fine and dandy. For once. <laughs> for once in the house, Hillary lived in. Somebody got blown. Meeting a donut. Just gain weight. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Daniel Rushing likes sweet treats. Oh, isn't that nice? Thanks for that update on the mainstream news. It's like he likes sweet treats. 
I never expected this. <laughs> he still can't believe eating one got him arrested. Oh. Don't you hate when that happens? Yep. Police are very protective of their donuts. They are very much so. But also, please note, dear listener, when eating, he got arrested. He, he wasn't trying to fuck it or anything. You know, just to clarify, you know what Matt's like. You know, it was know. Florida. But, <clears throat> well, Did you play the jingle? No, because I'm, I'm, I was teasing it. And then I was like, going to play the fucking jingle. But no, fucking bastard. He ruins it for the rest of us, doesn't he? It's part of, part of the so yeah, it's time for Florida news. Because as we all know, Florida is Americano's most fucked up state. Ow. I said Fucked. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! All right. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Okay, all right. Fucking thing sucks! Oh, cunt. Uh, so, now we're... <laughs> happy now, Tori? Are we, are we happy? <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself now. It's a terrible feeling to be in jail when you haven't done anything wrong. Right, he hasn't done anything wrong. Well, I find that hard to believe. I mean, it's everyone's from done Florida. something. Florida, <laughs> he's eating a donut. What? What more wrong could he possibly fucking do? What more wrong? Did his doctor recommend he eat donuts? I, I doubt that. Do you? Do I you? do. Oh, he does. Wow, strong words from Tory there. <laughs> I'll see him again. Oh. I doubt that his doctor recommended a donut. Wow. He went there. On Friday, Rushing sued the city of Orlando and the drug testing company used by Orlando police. Okay. That's uh, quite a sweeping um, uh, piece of information there. Quite a sweeping documentation there. Caption while you can. All of them. We'll go Orlando, we'll go fucking, you know, the drugs testing unit, we'll go with the police, we'll, we'll you know, we'll sue everybody. The tarmac uh, providers, we'll sue the grass. Come quietly or there will be trouble. Oh, please no. That twice falsely indicated donut glaze as methamphetamine. So that twice. Twice, Tori. Twice. Because, because obviously, why wouldn't they mistake donut glaze on the floor of his car, of his vehicle? <laughs> That's crystal meth. Why wouldn't they? They're professional. They're from Florida. It's Florida. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I saw that on the floor of the... Of the I think I think donut glaze is about the fifth thing I would think it was. Uh, it? Two of them would be biological functions. You see, ah, I see two of them. Ah, you see, I would have gone okay. I would automatically first thing. I would ask if they were, you know, a mincing fairy or not, because it could be some of that kind of petroleum jelly shit. You know what I mean? It could, yeah, it could have been. You never know. It's similar in that, you know. You, you, mm, or it could be spunk, like you're suggesting. But, you know, you, you want to... Or know, phlegm. Or, well, no, because phlegm is more... It's not the same consistency as, like, that petroleum jelly or that, you know, glaze of a donut. It, I mean, if it's been drying there for a few days, it might. W would it? I don't know. I don't know either. Why would That's it? That's Tasha. She's the one that does all the research. Tasha, you spit. Does it... <laughs> Tori is suggesting... <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Cunt. Oh, wasted lube if you ask me. Anyway, <clears throat> in December of 2015, police pulled Rushing over for speeding. When they asked to search his vehicle, he said yes. Well, isn't that nice? Already, he's. If he was speeding, he was doing something wrong, obviously. Well, yes, there was that little bit of a. And he uh, already said he wasn't doing anything wrong. So which is it, Mister? Well, you were doing something wrong, or you weren't doing that thing wrong. Well. A little bit of comedy. May I remind you, you're under oath. Mm. You're not under oath when you're being pulled over, are you? 
That doesn't sound right. There's no Bible involved, so I'd say no. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. No Bible, no libel. Yeah. So anyway, where were we? Yeah. They said, yeah, we found drugs. And I went, <laughs> oh, you didn't? So they showed me four, well, four little teeny pieces of, of icing glaze from a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. You would have thought that the police would automatically know the difference between... <laughs> Uh, a crispy well, they cream. just knew it was a substance that they strongly associated with work, <laughs> so they went with the with the former instead of the latter. Ah, schoolboy error. I think you'll find schoolboy. Ah, so we see this stuff every day. <laughs> Gotta be uh, what's that stuff? <laughs> Meth. That's the one. And I said, "That's icing from a Krispy Kreme glazed donut." And they went, "No, that's crystal methamphetamines." And I said, "I don't even know what that is." Oh, he, do he doesn't even know. He doesn't watch CSI. What a bastard. Yeah, he's never seen Breaking Bad. Oh. Disown him. Disown him. Kick him out of the state. <laughs> he lives in Florida and he doesn't know what meth is. <laughs> it's, it's, so he doesn't watch the news. He probably doesn't even know what Scientology is. You know, he lives in Florida. I, I don't know what it is. Old biddies pissing everywhere. I don't know what any of that is. What's a gator? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm watching this Who's Walt Disney? I'm watching this video. Is he one of those singers? And, he, and his beard looks fake as well, as if he's just stuck it on with super glue just to protect this his... This guy is a Russian <laughs> living in America <laughs> no. as a spy. You can't see me. I'm special. Rushing was then booked into the Orange County Jail. Rushing lawsuit... or Russian? Rushing. <laughs> he's Russian, but he's not speeding. No. Well, he was. That's why, well, you, you, you can't Not win on, on this speed, one. speed, though. He, he's got a fake beard, which makes him look like a Russian spy. And uh, he was speeding, and his surname is Rushing. So, all in all, it's not, it's not going well for him, is it, really? It's not going well at all. Claims he was denied medication and placed in jeopardy with no regard to a pre-existing medical condition. Placed in jeopardy. <laughs> and his big mistake is he, he didn't... <laughs> He made too many statements. He should have put them in a form of a question. Ah, uh, it makes sense now, doesn't it? Makes obvious sense now. But it's just like placing, you know, what? He was placed in a, a situation where he could get, you know, chocolate starfish raped in the in the local jail. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe the, it, the irony was is he's, he has diabetes and he has to take insulin. And oh, is that what we got? Okay. he just went out of a, on a donut <laughs> binge so much that he got him all over the fucking car and he's speeding down the road. Then when his blood sugar drops out, he's stuck in jail. <laughs> well, let's find Here's an idea, buddy. Uh -huh. Where do you get home for eat the fucking donuts? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. How long were you in jail for? Uh, about 11 hours. Six weeks later, FDLE completed its testing Confirming the glaze was from a donut. Ugh. <coughs> That's what I think of that. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I wonder how much that drug test took, and why did it taste, take six out uh, six weeks? Because it's very, very expensive, and it, and the drug war is a lost cause. Can't you you can't do drug tests in the police station? Like we can. Not have them hold up in court. Oh, fuck it. This ridiculous. How, what, how much of a backward fucking country do you live in, Tori? Rid ridiculous. Uh, a guy was put in jail for 11 hours for a donut crust. Okay. Well, it was Does Florida. Does that explain it? It was Florida. So, really, I'm not judging. I'm just a like... A cop did not identify donut glaze. Let's finish it off. Here we go. The thing is, we want to get these kits off the market or fixed. Right. The, the, these kits. Uh, oh, mm. Drug test kits. And Adrian, prosecutors dropped all charges after after Lee's investigation. Meanwhile, tonight I asked Daniel Rushing, do you still indulge and have a donut once in a while? He said yes, every other week, but not in the car. Uh-huh. Oh, Robert, Robert Lowe of W-E-S-H-N-Y-O-S. Your soul is dead inside, isn't it, you fucking... This guy dog. indulges in two donuts a month. Maybe he needs some meth. <laughs> Call that living. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. This is awkward, really, isn't it? It's just, it's just a sad state of affairs. Smallest bucket list ever. It's just... You can't help some people. You got a fuck it list. Uh, the way he is going, yeah. 
That's just wrong. I feel so sorry for him. It just, especially the beard and the fucking, you know, just crazy. I still can't work out why he would be suing the manufacturers, though. That doesn't make any sense. Surely the people who... Because get- it's a story sponsored by a comp- competing manufacturer's uh, company, maybe. Oh, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, everything. Uh, you should follow the money on everything. Uh, well, uh, especially with Hillary. I mean, I mean, that's, that's an exp- uh, you you got to consider that you can sell spots on the news now as a commercial, and those are expensive spots. They're not going to give a spot to a news story unless it sells something. Well, that's a given. I'm yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So if there's a if there's a company being named as being sued, then it's either uh, something in defense of that company or something in defense of or uh, for the pr- promotion of a different uh, product. Ah, we got there in the end. A different, did we? Product. Yes. Ah. I like it when we 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 get there. Yes. Yes, I like finishing. Yeah. Slap that up. But it's not donut glaze, though, is it? Oh my! Oh, George, shut the fuck up. Not frosting. Oh. Uh, some people. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to tell you all politely to fuck off. Until yeah, Friday. Yes, past Ben. Hope everybody has a good old time. Keep safe and out of mischief. Or an old good time. Yeah, well, well, if you must. Are you going to get Options. up to anything? Yes. Up to anything much, Tori? Uh, if I do, I'll save it for the show. Ooh. Me too. Anyway, thanks, Tori. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy boy. And we'll see you all on Friday. Goodbyes, everybody. On air, online, on demand, on the move. Dirtyboxers.net. You think I wouldn't like to spark up a duber every now and again? Just take a nice, slow, extra careful drive. Ah. Uh, yes, that was that was good. That was that was that was, that was quite I'll, good. I'll think about that sound clip as I mislabeled it Lois when it's clearly Francine. Oh, of course. <laughs> silly error. How silly of you. How silly. Yeah, that went all right, didn't it? Yeah, that'll play. No, oh, that'll do its job. That'll it yeah. in the short grass. Hmm. Ain't bad for a first go. A whole yow chow thing, like proper like thing. Uh, if I'm Ailey, we've done worse. Well, no need to bring the fuck. Isn't thing that up. a way to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Trying our best. <laughs> no way to bring it out like that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, some people, fuck it out. Um, as long as you don't mention like times and dates, yeah, you know, I, I feel I can, I can. Like episode five thirty. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Jeez, some people. Anyway, I didn't mention a time. All oh, right, I'll let you off this once, but you know, not happy. Almost as bad as uh, you know, what's his fucking face? Um. Sending me perverted bullshit. You know, do you see that? Well, I, I'm saying that because I believe that I'm attractive. Yeah, you're, so. n- you're not, though. You're not, Matthew. So, so please, shh. Stop believing in that and put your efforts into something a bit more constructive, why don't you? That'd be, that'd be nice. He doesn't want to see my pubescent body. Uh, it seems uh, Hello Kelly doesn't, um, which I... Personally, I thought it was frightfully rude. first for everything. I, I thought it was frightfully rude, but, um, you know. Oh, my. I know. 
Uh, where was it? Let me just log into my my Twitter sphere. Uh, Go through the wormhole. I'd rather I'd, I'd I'd rather not. Thanks. He's um, always suggesting that. I know. I don't know what it is with him, but uh, I ain't happy. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Awkward. Yes. So. Uh, I don't understand why. Don't, don't don't make me come over there. I don't understand why. Uh, he believes this is a good thing to send. I'll just mute it for a second. It's just like it's only... you know I've got nothing to do now with my life. Oh, I see. Now uh, that's that's probably you know could be could be it. But why on earth, Chunky Tom do Daly? Do you think he'll rub his nip nips for me? No, Laz. No, you don't know where the fuck he's been. Jeez. But why on earth would Chunky Tom Daly think this was a good fucking thing to send? Admittedly, he could have shaved. Could have shaved. I have been given the go-ahead to do my own show. Oh, oh right. Oh, okay, fair enough. But I mean, I, I appreciate the, the sentiment of this video, which is, uh, you know, nice. It, 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 it's uh, validation. We have listeners. We, 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 yes. He is, he is listening. He's in the act of listening. He is definitely, he's also in the act of being naked in and bed. And by proxy, by listening to his video, we are re listening. <gasps> Ooh. You see, that's the bit that I don't like. That's the bit that I, you know, that, that smuggy, smiley face. Why is he smiling while listening to Russia? I don't eat pies. Well, you, you fucking do, you big tit. Twat. Uh, allegedly. Um, look at that. Look at that smiling. No one's supposed to be smiling to this shit. What the fuck does he think he's doing? Laying naked in bed like that with his smirky face on. What the fuck? Smoke weed every day. Honestly. <sighs> dirty, dirty. You know, that. You could blindfold him with dental floss. <laughs> Oh dear! Don't give me ideas. Uh, so, so <laughs> I don't know what's worse, though. Tori, you're a man of the world. What is worse, Chunky Tom Daly with his, you know, naked in bed, saying he loves me? I didn't. I didn't hear him love you either, though. That's the other thing. I don't. I don't want you to feel like there's favoritism involved. Are you okay that the fact that Chunky Tom Daly loves me and we don't know about his feelings for you? Um. But uh, I don't know what's worse, that or um, the, the nipples that, that are MCS. Um, I, I, what are worse, Tori? Really? You don't know? Well, I, well, I, mm, I'm just unsure, you see, because MCS's nips... At least he was manly enough to show his nips, unlike Chunky Tom Daly, who was a, I think it's known professionally as a frigid bastard. Uh, but MCS is... And MCS is not a frigid bastard. Yeah, but his nips are wonky. Because he's always out, you know, getting lucky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really something, all right? But his, his nips are wonky. I don't get why they're so fucking wonky. You know? I Maybe just, it's the lighting. You think? See, even when they're supposedly level, they're slightly wonky. Even the timeline, the fucking, uh, the line that is the, 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 the seeker, is it the seeker of the video? I don't know what the fuck it would be called. It's wonky to that. If the timeline of the video is a spirit level, then his nips are wonky. Look at it. Look at these fucking nips. They're wonky. I'm just not seeing it. Sorry. Yeah. You mean you're not watching? You you mean you're not watching our live feed on, on YouTube, you know, with that lovely wonky peaks there, the fine. <sighs> I don't should know. I, should I be? No, no, you'll probably put yourself off your, off your breakfast or dinner or something. Um, it's just, it's just one of those observations that I've made, uh, from my ivory tower. That's all. That's all. Anyway, <laughs> sounds like you need to close the blinds. 
That's what you're seeing out your tower, so wonky nips. Uh, uh, maybe, I don't know. Look out the, a different window. A different window, yeah. That's, that's probably a good idea. But anyway, um, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, today's lovely show. Um, and uh, do all that loveliness. You're welcome. Um, I'm assuming you're talking to me. Uh, well, yes, everybody. Everybody in general. You know, thank you. I am everybody, yes. Yeah, you are, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm also concerned that... Uh, oh, no. Why would he, why did he have to do this? Why the fuck did he have to do this? <sighs> we were so close to leaving, and then I realized that we have a chat room. Uh, <laughs> MCS yes. is, is saying that um, he stares at the uh, LG OLED um, at his work all day, and it is beautiful. Now, he's agreed with me, and that makes me feel dirty. Why does he have to belittle my, my brilliance? Why does he have to continually suck up like this and ruin every, it for the rest of us? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I was having such a lovely day. <laughs> I made interesting points. They were, they were reasonable points. They were very lovely indeed. And then he has to go and he goes, I agree. And it's like, it's belittled. It's pissed away from my parade there, Tori. What am I, I going to do about this? What am I, I, I going to do? I don't know. Have you tried subscribing to YouTube feed? Ah, could be it. Ah, I, I might do that instead. All right. Anyway, on that bombshell, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Tori. Thanks, Tasha Bella and everybody in the chat room. And we'll see you all on Friday. Cheers. Cheers, buddy boy. Take care. Bye-bye.